The upcoming visit of Indian Air Force Chief to Greece is being seen as a major game changer, as the Greek Air Force also operates the Rafale F-3R standard aircraft, and it will be an opportunity for both the Air Forces to work together and share information on the Rafale aircraft. Greek analysts have repeatedly talked about the possibility of buying the air-launched variant of Brahmos NG for its Rafale fighter jets and that an alliance between Greece and India would help counter Turkey and Pakistan. The RDO's hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle had already demonstrated hypersonic combustion for more than 20 seconds, at a speed of 2 km per second in its previous test, and now the DRDO is all set to conduct the test of the full-scale scramjet combustor for 100 seconds from the High Enthalpy Ground Test Facility of National Aerospace Laboratories in Bangalore. It will initially be tested for 100 seconds, and later for 400 seconds, which will be increased up to 600 seconds, and achieving 1000 seconds will be the final goal, that will lead to the development of two long-range hypersonic cruise missiles under Project Vishnu, that will include a 2500 km range surface-to-surface -surface hypersonic cruise missile and an air-launched hypersonic cruise missile with a range of over 700 km. In an interesting development, US firm General Atomics has offered transfer of technology to India, to enable design and manufacturing of armed variant of high-altitude long-endurance drones, and this offer comes at a time when the American company is facing stiff competition from two Israeli companies that have offered Heron TP drone and Hermes 900 UAV with Indian-made sensors at a much lower cost, with local manufacturing and full transfer of technology. According to latest media reports, the Indian Navy is still pushing to acquire 10 Predator drones from the US firm, as it is happy with the performance of two leased MQ-9 Predators for maritime operations. General Atomics has also announced, that its Mohave arm drone has conducted successful takeoff and landing from less than 300 meters, that makes it suitable for aircraft carriers, and frontline bases with unprepared runways. Indian private sector firm Paninian Aerospace has achieved a breakthrough in the design of state-of-the-art aero engines for cruise missiles and large UAVs, as it has successfully demonstrated the design and validation of a 4.5 kN turbojet engine, that will further be developed into a family of engines up to 12 kN thrust. The other breakthrough is in terms of developing an artificial intelligence-driven digital twin for legacy engine performance modeling and prognostics, for supporting engine health, performance monitoring, mission performance and life extension efforts for fighter jets like Jaguar Strike Aircraft Su-30 and Mirage 2000, which means that India can carry out life extension of engines locally and accurately, without resorting to foreign assistance. The DRDO has started prototype work on India's first dedicated anti-torpedo torpedo system, and developmental trials of the system will start from 2023. Frontline warships are equipped with anti-submarine rocket systems, but their effectiveness is not satisfactory in modern warfare, where torpedoes are increasingly becoming diverse and getting harder to detect. The DRDO anti-torpedo torpedo system will have an acoustic vector sensor, that will enable it to search locate and destroy hostile torpedoes with high probability in all relevant environments. The ISRO has completed an important milestone in the planned human spaceflight project Gaganyaan, as it has successfully test-fired the low-altitude escape motor of crew escape system. The crew escape system will take away the crew module of Gaganyaan mission, in case of aborting the mission during the initial phase of flight.